I have scientific proof that God Almighty created metric system. I'll tell you why. Because perfect pasta recipe is one egg per 100 gram of flour. Hello dear friends, you're watching A to Z Recipes. Behind the camera is my best friend and my spouse Mehran Gezi Nabizade. Hi. And I am Max Malki A. Today we're going to make together homemade fresh pasta. Now um, for that we're going to take 200 grams of normal, just regular normal flour, wheat flour. Not self-raising, not anything, just normal regular flour. That would make two portions. 100 gram is one um, perfect portion of pasta, if it's the main dish. And um, for our American friends, 100 gram is about 3.7 ounces, or just a little bit less than one cup. All right? And I add here uh, one egg per 100 gram, two eggs and a little bit salt and there we go we start kneading the dough it's easy you don't need to worry you don't need to panic just go ahead and knead it with your hands it's fun and it's easy what I wanted to tell you friends before we start discussions about who stole pasta from whom is it Chinese is it Italian or, or whatever I want to tell you something in the country I come from, my home country, Tajikistan. It's a, a, a small Persian-speaking country in Central Asia. Uh, we've been making pasta since forever. And it's very similar to Italian pasta. So you can call it, uh, the recipe we're making together now, you can call it Italian pasta with a Persian accent. Uh, if the dough sticks to your hands, uh, don't panic. Just a tiny little bit of flour and go like this. Just clean your fingers like this. That's it. Now my hands are relatively clean. And go on uh, kneading the dough. You don't need to do it for a very long time. The moment that you sort of combined all the ingredients in one piece, that's enough. Uh, at this moment the dough doesn't look fantastic and it's not supposed to because it's the first kneading. Very important friends when we work with dough, let it rest. Now I've formed a, a ball and I'm going to cover it. Uh, we try not to use plastic so I just cover it with a bowl. That's enough and I leave it to rest for at least half an hour. Uh, after half an hour, we need the dough a little bit more, just a little bit like this. That would be enough. And now the dough looks much better. It's nice and smooth and soft. And we cover it and leave it for another 15 minutes. 15 minutes passed. Let us roll it out. Don't forget to use flour. And uh, do not be afraid to use plenty of flour. With plenty of flour, it's much easier to roll out the dough. Of course you can use a pasta machine to roll out the dough, but I like, uh, when I say I made something, I like to mean it. Not machine made it, I made it. Okay guys, when the dough is about this thin, that's enough. Uh, but also up to you, up to your uh, personal taste. You can make it thicker, I feel like thicker pasta. There are no rules. Now I'm doing this. 
and let's cut it. And again, the thickness of the pasta is up to you guys. Uh, whatever you like. By the way, you can uh, put it like this on the table and dry it for a couple of days or more, depending on your sort of uh, weather conditions, and store it like normal pasta. But of course, the best thing is to use it fresh, and it only takes uh, two minutes to boil, unlike the dry pasta, which takes 10 or 15 minutes. This pasta takes only 2-3 minutes to be perfect al dente pasta. Yalla, let's cook the pasta. Uh, first of all, friends, we put generous amount of salt in the water because that's, that's how we put salt in pasta. Right. And when it boils, Let's put the pasta in. A stir. And now let's make uh, the sauce because it takes, uh, the moment it boils, it takes only two or three minutes uh, to cook completely. I put a frying pan on the stove and let's prep the sauce. The garlic, I put a nice amount of oil, olive oil, on the frying pan, but not too much, just to cover the bottom of the frying pan. And then I slice the garlic thinly. And into the oil it goes. We don't want the oil to be too hot. And we don't want to burn the garlic. We want it to be just nice um, golden color. And also, and this is optional. The other two ingredients are completely optional. It's up to you. I put some uh, peperoncini. So the oil it goes. If you don't have uh, fresh pepper, you can use uh, chili flakes. You can add if you like some chopped parsley. I lower the heat because I don't want my garlic to burn. And now in goes the pasta. I don't rinse the pasta, I just put it like this. Mix well. Now guys, if you want to add some Parmesan cheese, you can add Parmesan cheese, but do not tell Italian friends, because in Italy, if you add past, if you add Parmesan cheese to your aglio and olio pasta, they strip you of your Italian citizenship immediately. That's it friends, the pasta is really, I hope you like it. Thank you so much for being with us, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yalla, bye bye.